What's up everyone, how are you all doing? A long time ago I wanted to build a device called Tesla Coil. It's a device that generates a very high voltage. It was invented by Nikola Tesla to, well, his vision was to distribute wireless power around the world. But it did not work. So I'm just gonna build one in a simple way so, so you guys can understand it. Then uh, I'm show you how it's done. Okay, as you can see on the camera, this is the schematic of Tesla coil. As I told you earlier, it's a device, a resonance frequency device, that's used to generate a really insane amount of energy or voltage. Now here is the component of my old high voltage generator from my previous videos. From here, there's an alternating current and there's this transformer. Then this transformer will, will give energy to the capacitor and charge it. And that charge will dissipate or will will slowly discharge through this gap called the spark gap. Here, spark is created when, it is, when the capacitor is fully charged. And when this spark gap becomes closed, the circuit becomes full. And thus creating this resonance frequency that I explained briefly in my previous video. And that uh, resonance frequency will produce a bigger voltage on the other side, on the scale on the graph, really big surge of electricity produce a much much more bigger voltage on the other side thus creating lightning okay now this as you can see it's the secondary coil of the tesla coil uh, and you can see it has many winding yeah i was counting i was winding it well by hand it's important to count how many winds uh, that you have well done i was counting till 200 then i lost count i got bored but probably it's in order of hundreds but i don't know the exact number and this is the tesla coils primary this is the primary side as you can see there's one two three four five six seven seven windings of the primary always the primary must be smaller in number than the well the secondary side and this is the capacitor connected in series, as you can see here, it's con connected in series. And this one is important, this is the spark gap, there is a gap, and we expect the sparks to jump through here. Then this is my old, well, high voltage generator from my last video. So we're all going to connect it together and see what will happen. Okay, now we have adjusted everything, it's all connected as you can see. Well, uh, don't forget by the way, this varnished wire must be very isolated and very carefully winded i wanted it clumsy so when you wind this thing be careful and don't overlap one wire to another and this one is a protection sometimes or always the secondary coil and the primary coil may arc in between so to prevent that i cut a pvc yeah and wind it all together to separate it this is the ground and this one very tiny end is the expected high voltage output now let's turn it on turning it on i'm expecting some lightning big one ah. ah it's so loud let's do it again yeah there are, yeah, there are little arcs jesus christ Creating little voltage, but it's not enough. It's not big enough. They say, in order to create a suitable or the maximum output, you must adjust the spark gaps between. And I made it wider, so I have to change it a bit. Okay, now I have adjusted the spark gaps. Now it's smaller. Then I'll turn it on and expect a high voltage. All right, turning it on. Ah, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah man, it's so loud. Yep, the high voltage taping. Damn, it's deafening. Okay, you guys may not see it because of the light. I'll make it closer and show it to you. Thank you. 
came back. This is the end. And there's a oh, we can just keep things. Okay, just to show you, there, right there, there's a spark gap, charging and discharging, creating resonance frequency of the primary. Okay, uh, you can't listen, right? Okay, as I was saying, this is the spark gap, creates a high voltage, and this creates a resonance frequency around the primary and the capacitor, then leading a high voltage on this tower. Now, they say that... Even by using a fluorescent light, you can light wirelessly. Let's try that. Okay, thanks guys for watching and don't forget to like and share and subscribe then uh i'll see you in a bit